Well, hello there, friends. This is Joanna. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoy my project. And to all my subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming out every week, watch my videos, and supporting my channel. I so appreciate it. So today's pendant is a little bit different, very easy to make. And a lot of fun and you guys will not believe what I used actually for the texture and yes it's not a stamp and it's not something very usual and you are guy you guys are gonna love it and you will go through your house looking for something like that <laughs> And I'm going to start off with some white clay and alcohol inks and uh, the colors that I'm using is uh, yellow, there is ginger and there is terracotta and also citron. So those are my four colors which actually sound like fall to me but <laughs> I must be in the fall spirit which I know you guys know that I am. Now for the texture yes can you believe it i am using my candle candle i got for christmas last year look around your house some of those candles have the neatest neatest textures so i'm going to use the top to it and it is so beautiful and if you're going to get the impression on the top it will be different than the bottom so you can play with what you might like but you're going to press it in and you're going to have to press it in pretty hard because you know those textures they are not as deep as a texture of a stamp so you really want to make sure that you get as much out of the design as you possibly can look around your house for different bottles that you know some of the bottles also have great designs i mean open your mind to all that and you'll see how beautiful the textures come out on polymer clay so here you can see i'm pulling it off i think next time what i would do is i would spray some water on the bottom before i put the clay on it so it would come out just a little bit easier i didn't do it and uh so i struggled just a little bit but you can see how beautiful this texture is and now you will see it even better with uh, all the alcohol inks and I'm just going crazy having great time playing with the colors it is just so fun and please don't forget to wear your gloves I don't care what anyone says it is difficult to clean your hands after using alcohol ink if you're not using gloves and don't oversaturate it oversaturation is not good it's just going to create one dark color and you will not be able to see all those beautiful colors that you're applying you could see that at some points i go in with a paper towel and i just soak up the spots where i just added a little bit too much alcohol ink so now with that we're just going to put it on the side and let it dry okay and this is my dry clay you can see that it looks a little bit different and go look for a cutter and look at this i the design is kind of circular and i found my cutter which is, this one is from ojoy creations and it is so perfect for it it's like the design was made for this cutter it, i was just so thrilled that it, it, <laughs> it really fit the, uh, the top of the candles so, so well. So you're just going to cut out your design and you're going to clean it up and we're going to bake it. Now the color, you can see it's kind of dull and that's okay. What I like to do is I like to apply alcohol ink before I bake it and then I'm going to go in with some more color after I take it out from the oven okay so now my pendant is baked and i'm going to go back in with my colors and they're going to make everything just pop so beautifully and i kind of follow uh the colors that are already at the bottom but 
not exactly <laughs> again trying not to oversaturate it but because the clay is baked it's not absorbing the color as much so it really looks it just looks so so pretty and at this point I also any leftover alcohol ink that I have I'm just going to use for my edges so the edges go very well with the rest of the pendant but this is the time for you guys to design the color and play with alcohol ink I know it's totally crazy to say but the pendant is pretty much done I'm just going to add a little bit something something to it but look how beautiful it, it came out I made another one the other one is the same colors but look how different it comes out right so I decided that I just wanted to add a little pop to it and I'm grabbing some uh, brushed uh, no bright brass I was brushed brass it's bright brass uh, acrylic paint and just adding a tiny little bit of it on my finger and I'm just going to wipe through it and I really do think that it adds so much to the pendant uh, don't put too much because you want to make sure that the colors uh, that you applied are still showing and you can wipe uh, excess uh, with a sponge or a paper towel but I just think it's just so so pretty and then I thought that you know what that was not enough so I grabbed some black and I applied some black to it as well just barely barely touching it you know we have so many different beautiful layers that are coming to life here I absolutely love the way this thing is coming out and since I have everyone's attention can you please tell me what is this shape what is the shape? I I could not explain the shape. <laughs> what is this? Is this a twist? Is it a slug? Is it some kind of a fossil? <laughs> whatever it is I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial make it your own shape but go through your house find those textures and have fun with them just like I did I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching as always and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video ta-ta